Are you tired of people looking inside your chest and stealing all your valuables? Hi, I'm Battling Apple Zero Four here to show you the safest safe in Minecraft that you can build in your very own survival world. So, let's take a look at the safe itself. Okay, right over here. A little bit of it. We're gonna go over here, and as you can see, you got these these dials. And you have to, and it's locked. You see, the safe is locked. So now all you have to do is put the correct code in. You gotta get all three of them right. And voila! All you have to do is wait a second for the lava to retract. It takes a little bit. And you can reject all your items. You can walk across without stepping on lava because this piston comes up. You can access whatever you put in here. And then you can walk out. And then these netherite blocks both close and no one can get in your chests. Just like that. And then this dispenser dispenses the lava back. And this piston goes back down so no one can walk across. Just one single mess up and uh oh. No one can get in your safe. This is the safest and easiest safe to make on your own survival world. Chicken. Okay, so you want to find a flat space or wherever you're going to put it in your base. And now you're going to make five blocks wide with obsidian. Five blocks. So, what do you three, four, five? And you're going to make it three blocks wide. Now you're going to fit this in with obsidian. You're going to make one in the back and you're going to put your chests. You're going to need four chests. You're going to place it like this. You can just use one, but I'm guessing you want more valuables. There we go, so we got two double chests. Now you're just gonna cover that in obsidian. And you're gonna leave a space up top, like that, for the chest to open, so you can open the top chest. And... Yeah, just like that. Okay, now you're gonna want to stick your sticky piston, you're gonna go destroy that obsidian block. You're gonna go one, two, no, there. You're gonna put that there. And now you're gonna take your netherite block and you're gonna stick it there. Now you're gonna stick another netherite block right after you place this piston upside down like that. And then you're gonna stick a block of netherite like that. So now when your safe closes, these two blocks are gonna cover your pistons. And since these are like obsidian pretty much, they won't, your guys will not be able to get in. Because. Obsidian in just like that all around so now you got this tiny little safe Next you're gonna want to go one block out from this obsidian safe you've made and this is so that the lava Will stay stuck in between and not spread out. So you're just gonna go like that all around Just like so and Now you're gonna come over here with a normal piston and you're gonna stick it right there now you're going to make the doorway in your that grass, and you're going to go like that, center it on the middle, and you're going to make it two blocks tall. And you just place some blocks there, just like that. And you're probably going to want the obsidian on the floor as well. Now you're going to come to the side, and down here you're going to put a block there, a torch there, a block there, a torch right there, a block there, a torch there. And I'll block there. Okay, now you're gonna come off to the side. Now we're gonna connect this up. Ooh. I'm gonna put some blocks here. And now you're gonna come up here. And you're gonna come off to the side. Okay, so you're gonna take your dispenser. And you're gonna put it in the middle. One block above, just like that. Because lava's gonna come out of this guy. And now you're gonna take your observer. And you're gonna place it right above. So you're gonna place a temp block right there. And then you're gonna crack up. And now the observer is pointing into that dispenser. And now you're going to take your piston and point it right into that. And now you're going to take these two blocks, just like that. And you're going to take a redstone torch and place it right there. And you're going to place your redstone dust down there. And now you're going to place that right here. And you're going to place this right there. You're going to place redstone dust all along. So it's going to be powered like that. So this should be when it's unlocked. So now you're going to go ahead and place lava in there. So this is we when it's unlocked. Okay, now you're going to dig down here. 
and you're going to dig about three blocks down. You're going to go two blocks forward. And you're going to look for that piston that we placed in the bottom. There it is. And now you're going to fly back up. You're going to find that piston as well that we placed in the bottom because we're going to connect those two guys up. So right now, we're going to set it up as it would be unlocked. So we're going to find that guy. There he is. So we found both pistons. Okay, down here, the setup's going to look like this. So you've got these two guys right here. So basically, when this redstone dust is on, we want this guy to be powered up. And when this redstone dust is on, we want this guy to be powered down. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to place a torch here. So that's going to go down. And we're then going to depower that torch using this. We're going to take the repeater and place it facing into that torch. There we go. You're going to come back here. Just like that. So now it's going to be powered like this. So you're going to come up here. And what it should look like is this. This thing is up so you can walk across without hitting the bottom. This is unlocked. Now you can access your stuff. And then the lava should be retracted. See, like that. And now, let's say, like, it disconnects. The code is off. Now, what should happen is this should go down. That should go up. Just like that. So now, when we connect it again, it's like it's unlocked, like that. And this is up here, and so let's say it locks. Boom, all of a sudden the signal changes. The lava starts dripping, and if we phase through the lava, we'll see that one's down. So if they both unlock at the same time, it'll work. And now if it unlocks, we can place that just like that. And we can see the lava is dripping down, and it's unlocked again. Okay, so now all we have to do is hook this up to R code. Okay, now you're going to come back here. And obsidian. You're going to place obsidian wall. Because obsidian. Okay, once you have your back wall about three blocks tall, you can take your item frame and your arrows. And you're going to stick your item frames there, there, and there. So, about square... No, it's not square. Okay, if you want even, like me, I want it even. You're gonna put the set, that one like that. Anyway, you're gonna stick an arrow in each of them. And then you're gonna come to the back. And you're gonna go two blocks up and put about right there. And you take your comparator. And you're gonna output it. Just like that. It should turn on if you put it in the right spot. Because it detects there's an item in the item frame. Okay, and you're gonna do that for each of the item frames, just like this. This is gonna be the code. Okay, now you're gonna come back and you're gonna choose the length. The length is gonna be your code. Okay, so come back here and set it to how, what you want your code. Let's see, you only want that one one, and then you want this one pointing up. So this one's gonna be pointing like bottom left corner to the right directly and then this one's just going to be pointing up. So these comparators are now going to be outputting different strengths. So you're going to go all the way until it's not outputting anything. So you're going to make them about four long to give you options. See that this one? It stops right there. So you're going to put a torch right where it stopped and it should come off. And to test that it came off, you're going to place a piston right there and it's not going to power because that one's off. Okay, so when you found what's off, you're going to take your repeater and you're going to take it right there. And you're going to do that for all of them. Okay, if you've noticed something, all these torches are off. And then it's not outputting anything. So this is the key to this code. What it's doing is, if you got the code right, it will output nothing. So now you're going to connect all these torches up. And you're going to put redstone below them, wherever they may end up. And you're going to take the output of this repeater, you're going to crouch and place a block in front of the repeater, so it's going to be hard powering the block in front of it. Just like that. And then the last one. Right over there. And then you're going to stick a block right there. Right there. And then right here. You're going to stick redstone dust on it. Now you're just going to connect all this together. 
just like so. You're going to place it right there. So when it hard powers that block, it's going to power that redstone dose, which is going to all the way over here. So now you're going to put that connected to this. You're going to connect this to here. And now you're going to take this output, and you're going to put a redstone repeater there to put it onto full strength. And you're going to run it this way. Okay, and now when you get here, this is the finishing touch. So right now it's unlocked, right? We're going to go check, and yes, it is unlocked. That's how we set it. So since we have the code right, we want it to keep this as it is right now. So we're going to take a repeater, and we're going to hard power the block under the torch. And we're just going to run it down. And there you have it. This is your safe. Sick. So now you can walk in and get all your valuables. And then when you walk out, and you can reset the code. And automatically, it, everything will lock down and lava will go back down. And whenever you get the code right, just put that back on the bottom left corner. You just gotta wait a second and the lava will recede and your stuff will come there. And of course, it's not just one. You have to get all of these correct. So, let's try this. If I can remember the code, it was like, ugh, like that. Then this one was like that. And then this one was up. Oh, oh, and it should unlock. And you have access to all your stuff. Just cover up the back wall back here so you don't see exposed redstone. And of course, you can cover the roof with obsidian for extra protection. And also, of course, if once you've covered the redstone, you can cover this whole backside in lava as well to keep it even more safe. Thank you for watching. I'm battling Apple Zero Four. If you like this video, please, please subscribe. It helps out a ton. And if you learned a lot from this video, please leave a like. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.